How's it going guys? Max here. So we do have great news about Samsung's under display camera and the A series for 2021. Let's get into it. Firstly, to understand the under display camera theory that I came up with, we have to go back to the Galaxy A80. That was that was the best Galaxy in the first generation of A series because it had this um, rotating camera that the Zenfone 7 Pro had has actually but it was actually better because it was in Samsung's mid-range series which was the A series after the A70 you had the A80 which was one of the greatest it, if you wanted to take a selfie you rotate the camera to start facing you which gave the camera had like one of the best mid-range i think it's the best mid-range camera quality we've ever seen on any samsung phone and it was great but coming over to the under display camera we actually okay we know that samsung is coming up with the under display camera but we actually think that it's going to come with the galaxy a80 okay i know you will say this is crazy samsung can't uh use uh, a technology as powerful as this or as great as this in a mid-range series but let me just take you back a bit um, the in-display fingerprint sensor started with the A series. That was Samsung's mid-range. The um, punch hole camera, that was the punch hole camera cutout. We first saw it on an A series. That was a mid-range series. And um, for the fact that Samsung skipped A81, which was the second generation, I think they will actually, you know, put it in the third generation, which I don't know yet. But I think they're going to call it the A82 or maybe the A81. We don't know. But this is this actually sounds like something Samsung is going to do. Like um, putting it in the A80, whatever they're going to call it, will actually be great. Not only will it give the phone the you know vibe it has back again, but it will also be cool. And uh, we also know that the under display camera is going to be seen on uh, the Galaxy Z Fold 3 and the you Note know, 21. That's if there's going to be one, because it's not certain at this point. But um, seeing that they've already unveiled the under display camera on their laptops, that is their Samsung notebooks, and it looks marvelous. I don't think Samsung is going to be doing what uh, the ZTE phones are doing. I think they're going to go all out under display. And since we've seen it, since Samsung showing it in some of their recent trailers, I don't really think that this is something they just want to talk about. Samsung is actually bringing the on that display camera to us this year unfailingly if you're loving this video a sub to the channel would be cool because we hope that samsung's under display camera will actually be unveiled in any galaxy series maybe a80 series or whatever that's not only the um a series news we actually have we actually have news on the upcoming a42 a52 and a72 that is galaxy a series and um i've covered this in a video before about the first sticks we got you should go and check it out um samsung actually wants to go deep with this a series because last year a51 was actually the best selling phone ahead of their flagships at the first quarter of the year so um here are some leads that are not 100 percent confirmed but you can actually hope on them about the uh, a52 and a72 firstly a52 will have a 6.5 infinite o display a72 will have a 6.7 infinite o display and um like i've said before they'll have um that's for the a52 we have uh four cameras a quad camera setup that's this is four megapixel main uh 12 megapixel wide five megapixel macro and five megapixel depth but the important thing we actually received now is the pricing of these two phones and the chipsets that are going to be used in them so for the a52 4g that some part of the world will actually be receiving it will start at 370 dollars for the a52 4g and 450 dollars for the a52 5g then over to the a72 it will actually start at um 450 dollars for the 4g variant of the a72 and no price has been put out yet for the 5g variant of the a72 and both phones will actually start out 128 gigabytes of base storage which is actually good but the main shift in price is because of the different processors they will actually use 
the um, 4G variant will have the Snapdragon 720G, which is good, but not that impressive. And the 5G variant will also have the Snapdragon 750G, which has almost a flagship performance specs. And this is actually great and also a disappointment. Great because it totally beats any processor Samsung used in their A series last year. And it's disappointment because we actually thought that we would see the Exynos 1080 chipset in the A series, but as what we're receiving now, turns out that that won't happen. And that's not the only Samsung news we actually have. We actually saw um uh we have many of us have seen camera tests, but we actually saw a zoom test from my friend Sparrow News and that is for the S21 Ultra, that is the 100x zoom and wow this zoom is currently now it beats even Huawei's P40, it is the best zoom you can see on any smartphone for now. I'm saying the best zoom on any smartphone for now because we are actually receiving news that Huawei is working on a 200x zoom capability for their future P series, you should go and watch that video. And yeah, tell me what you think about this in the comment section. That's the A series and the other display camera. Subscribe and I'll see you next time.